Hi, and welcome to my next video. Although, can you consider this as a next video if the last video that I released was almost 12 months ago? Dude, this is pretty inconsistent YouTube channel, I have to tell you. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Today, I want to show you how you can clean this coffee machine. So this is a Breville coffee, coffee touch or one touch VCF 107. I think in some markets it's called Breville coffee house. Now, the reason why I'm showing this to you is um, I've had a little bit of trouble recently, which made me realize that making this video is a good idea. I've moved house a couple months ago, well, a couple weeks ago. And um, you know how is it during the move of the house, like sometimes you lose some paperwork, especially like manuals for small appliances. And that's what happened to me. Now, so after I moved, I put this machine together and I started to use it. And after some time, as every coffee machine, you've got to clean it. And when you need to clean this coffee machine, there is this clean indicator which goes off and it tells you that you, that you need to clean it. Now, if you just press that button, what's gonna do, it's gonna run like a regular cleaning cycle. And if you didn't know this machine properly, you would think that that's normal, that's okay. But what happens is it's just gonna run like a regular cleaning cycle and then after a few uses, it's gonna go off again and it's gonna tell you that you need to clean it again. And that's because once in a while, you've got to run like a deep clean cycle. And this is where the problem is. I've tried to find some, some video or some online manual like how to do the deep cleaning cycle and I couldn't find anything. I even went to the Breville website and I searched on Google, tried to find like a manual for this, mo for this model and uh, this was my experience. <laughs> Oh no, I don't wear glasses. I just want it to look smart. Anyway, let's forget about that now, because that Breville website is as useful as a snowplow in the middle of a summer season and south of Greece. Now, one day, thanks to my wife, who's at least a million times more organized than myself, I found this, which is the manual for Breville One Touch VCF 107. And in here it says exactly what you need to do, how to descale the machine and how to run the deep cleaning cycle. So what you're going to need is a distilled vinegar. And uh, what I'm going to use instead is this descaler. But again, you can use, if I didn't have the descaler, you could probably use the distilled vinegar. It's going to work in exactly in the same way, but the descaler is not going to give you that sour taste for first few coffees. So what you need to do first is take off this water tank. Just pull it up like this. And then you have to replace the content with a mixture of water and vinegar, one to one ratio. 50% water, 50% vinegar. But in my case, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna fill it with the water almost until the max line, but not all the way. And then I'm just gonna mix in the descaler. See, almost until the max line, but not all the way. And now for the important part. Once we've got the solution inside the water tank, properly mixed, you need to rotate the milk knob into the cleaning position. It might go a little hard, so don't be afraid to rotate it all the way. Then place large cup under the porta filter and don't forget to point the milk dispenser into your cup as well. What you then got to do is press and hold the clean button for about five seconds. The stuff that's gonna take place now will take some time, upwards of 15 minutes sometimes. So you better make yourself some coffee. Oh, but actually, you're just cleaning your coffee machine, so that's not gonna work. Well, just make yourself some cup of tea, walk your dog, or find something else to do. Once the cleaning cycle is finished, this light, or the cleaning indicator, will be switched off. 
Now we just need to pour out that nasty stuff from the cup. When I turn this around, you see that there's about half of the water descaler mixture left in the water tank. What I like to do with that is rather than just throw it away, I run the custom espresso mod to use up all the descaler mixture to clean the internals and the portafilter. Although officially you should just get rid of the leftover mixture after a cycle and replace it with clean water, but that's what I'm gonna do after this anyway, because I don't want to waste any precious descaler. Just put back the cup under the portafilter again. Oh, and by the way, don't tell my wife. She probably wouldn't be happy to see how I'm using her gift. And then press the custom espresso button. Once it's finished, just um, empty the cup, take off the milk container, empty any water, water tank, and remove any water, and just replace it with properly rinsed this water tank. Do the same for the milk tank. When the program's finished, just empty the cup. And I like to do this one more time, just to make sure that the descaler is fully flushed out. Once that is done, then it's time to run the regular cleaning cycle. Now if the water level in your tank is low, feel free to fill it up until the max line. And now just press the clean button, which will run the regular cleaning cycle. Once the regular cleaning cycle is finished, Press the espresso button one more time. Once the espresso cycle is finished, empty the cup as it will probably be full of water. The last thing that you need to do is to run the steam mode. However, on this particular model it is labeled as fraud. And that is how you can run the deep cleaning procedure on the Brevel One Touch coffee machine. I hope it was helpful to you and what I'm going to do is if you just want to follow the standard procedure, I'm going to put a manual in here and you can read it out yourself. Thank you for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If that's the case, feel free to hit the like button, even subscribe. It really motivates me to create more content like this. Cheers.